What's up guys, this is Leviathan Kraken here, and so I just downloaded a data pack that finally opens up the portal in the ancient city, and we finally get to see what's in there. Now it's not official, but this is not a mod, this is a data pack, and it was created by a guy that goes by Flubber Schnub, and it's called the Nyctocosm. So I'm going to show you guys exactly what you need to do to activate this portal and see what lies beyond. Let's get started. Alright, so the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to give yourself something called the Selic Scythe. Now this thing has all different kinds of abilities. It, it can teleport you and you can kind of, you can kind of abuse this. Like it'll It'll teleport you all throughout, you know, anywhere you, any direction you aim it. Pretty cool. So, and what you're going to do first is you're going to build a circle of candles. You're going to start with three, then move over to the right, you know, down over one, and then do another one, and make a perfect circle, and make sure that they're all lit. And you're going to have to get give yourself a glass bottle and you're going to want to sacrifice something so in my case I'm going to sacrifice a chicken and let's see so what you're going to do is you're going to spawn the chicken kill it and then we absorb his soul <laughs> poor guy all right so now in order to activate this portal you're also going to need an echo shard and the problem I was making at first is I was throwing it down, but you actually have to aim it towards the portal. So first, you're going to take the soul bottle, and I marked this spot right here so I know exactly where I have to stand. Right click. Yeah, the visuals on this are amazing. That looks awesome. And this activates your spell. Now, there are other spells that this data pack comes with, but I'm just going to be showcasing the portal and the other realm that it was made. So, now that you got this activated, you take your Echo Shard, you aim directly at the portal, and you throw it. Oh, man. Now, take notes, Mojang, because this is what you need to be putting in the game. This is amazing. Guys, I love this. This is awesome. All right, so what I'm going to do before I enter is I'm going to show you at first what it looks like to be there when you're in survival mode. Now, if you're in creative mode and you're flying around, you're not going to get the full effect of, of the intensity of this realm. So what I'm going to do, stand right here. All right, so as you can see, guys, oh, wow, I got hit by something. Um, as soon as you get here, you get darkness effect. And something hit me. I don't know what it was. There is all kinds of unspeakable horrors here. Okay, something is still attacking me. Oh my gosh. Oh, I died. Oh my gosh, I'm still getting attacked. What? What is that? Yeah, when you get here, you're not going to be able to see anything. You're not going to be able to know what's hitting you. what that sound is in the background. Oh, whoa, whoa. <laughs> that actually made me jump. Whoa, wh whoa, what is this guy? Oh my gosh, yo, he's huge. Oh, man, I can't see anything in there. All right, guys, so here we are in creative mode. Now the place doesn't look nearly as scary because we don't have that darkness effect, but let me show you what was attacking me. We've got, I mean these things look terrifying. They're shooting stuff at me from the sky and I'm assuming they kind of like drop down a little bit. There's some sort of soul, like like a wraith or something, just hovering in the air. Now what I'm gonna do, get a little bit of night vision going here. There we go. Oh wow, that's just... Ugh some sort of rapture or something like that just terrifying we've got like some sort of dead dead looking plants here and 
let's see, I think I was in this direction. So as you can see, it's just kind of like an empty void. It, it kind of reminds me of the Upside Down, like in Stranger Things. I mean, that's pretty much what I would have expected. But the only thing is, I would have liked to see a bunch of Skulk everywhere. And, and Wardens and, you know, stuff like that. Like what you see in the Ancient City. There should have been Skulk here. Yeah, these are like a bunch of dead-looking trees. Got more of these guys over here. Creepy. Alright, now this guy is what was attacking me earlier. Now, I mean, he might not look that terrifying right here, but... When it's pitch black and you have darkness effect and this thing just comes up out of nowhere, yeah, that thing is... Pretty creepy. Now, I, the, the one thing about this data pack is it does seem to reduce my frames per second. It is still a work in progress, I, I'm assuming. But, I mean, if you would like to explore this world, it's pretty cool. I don't know if, what kind of resources are underground here, you know, what, what more you can find. But Alright, so the final thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to summon this boss fight. And I'm not even going to try to fight it in survival. <laughs> I'm just going to show you in creative what it looks like. And then I'll probably switch to survival to show you how actually terrifying it is, you know, when you're fighting this thing in the darkness. But So, in order to summon it, I'm going to have to make another sacrifice here. Sorry, go ahead. Sorry about that. Alright, here we go. And then I believe I... Let's see, I drop that, drop a glowstone, and then this wither rose... There we go. And it should summon the boss fight. <laughs> Major Adversary Nightmare Serpent. <laughs> I'm not used to hearing this kind of music in Minecraft. I'm going to fly around and look at this guy. Okay, so he's just a giant... He kind of reminds me of the Gargantuan Leviathan from... Subnautica mod. Dang. So he's got this effect that I remember seeing where he kind of like shoots some kind of red rain down at you. Whoa. Ow. Oh, no, no. Nice. That is cool. <laughs> Dude. Yeah, he's shooting some kind of particles. Alright, so I'm going to switch over to survival just to show you exactly what it feels like to fight this guy. I'm going to give myself a fighting chance. Let's see. Let's give myself a sword. Maybe. Oh yeah, there's that attack where he like rains stuff down on you. Alright, so here we go. Alright, here we go. Woo! Where, uh, <laughs> well, without max armor, you can see how quickly you die. Anyway, guys, this is Leviathan Kraken signing off. I just thought I would show, you know, the other realm, and, you know, hopefully we will get something like this legitimately from Mojang, but hey, I mean, I love mods, I love data packs, this is really cool, the visuals are amazing, and if, you know, if they plan to add more into the future to this, I would love to see, you know, to kind of showcase the updates to this uh, particular data pack, but yeah, link in description, check it out, this is really, really fun, so peace out.